Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining to our channel Petro Software. Today we will learn more about uh, BVTB. This software developed also by Petroleum Experts and uh, included in the package of IPM. Uh, so this software helped us to build a BVT modeling uh, using different types of uh, equations. So uh, in this practical training uh, lecture, we will learn how can we build black oil model. And uh, now I hope you can start uh, practice with this uh, lecture uh, to learn how can we uh, apply the BVT model. First of all, we need to create a new project by using here from file. This window uh, uses it automatically when we select the type of uh, method of uh, equation of state. Uh, we can see here the option equation of state. Uh, we all know the two common type of uh, equation of state, Bank Robinson and uh, Sov Bradley Schwank. Uh, this is the common. Uh, this is the two common ones and uh, here in my case I will work with the black oil model so from here from option click on the options and system options we have uh, the method uh, if you need to use equation of state or black oil so in this lecture I will use the black oil but if you select the equation of state uh, that means uh, this uh, method it's very very complex especially with the BVTB uh, because in this method we can create uh, a face envelope diagram uh, face envelope diagram that help us to classify the reservoir uh, depends on the reservoir pressure initial reservoir pressure and initial temperature we can uh, decide which uh, the type of our reservoir oil and gas and what the type of gas and uh, for oil under saturated or at saturated pressure or below uh, so this classification depends on the face envelope so an equation of state by using two equations uh, bank robinson and uh, the another one uh, we can uh, develop a face envelope diagram also when we work with equation of state uh, that uh, help us to calculate a more composition uh, we know in bvt lab when we uh, analysis the composition uh, we can find the C1 to C7 plus and in different and in some BVTs maybe you can find C1 to C10 plus and but in the he heavier uh, components we cannot find that in lab so uh, by using equation of state we can find for example C20 and uh, or C30 the heaviest component uh, that's uh, and that's very very complex uh, when we select the equation of state uh, with two types because uh, we have in these uh, numbers high heaviest components we have high uncertainty so we need to tune and adjust our properties uh, for example a critical points for temperature and pressure um, but in this uh, lecture I will not work with the equation of state I will select the black oil use black oil to uh, input some basic BVT data for example the gas oil ratio and oil for oil and uh, bubble point pressure and uh, oil graffiti and gas graffiti and by using the empirical correlations uh, we know we have some correlations for example viscous and uh, luster and glacio and others these uh, can help us to calculate the fluid properties beta oil and uh, RS and bubble point pressure and we can compare that with our BVT lab to see 
the best uh, to see the best empirical correlation matched with our data. So here I select the black oil and display it now uh, equation of state because I select a different method. Here was the type of uh, fluid we can uh, depends on your fluid oil and in my case here I will use oil. Separator maybe it depends on your separator you have single and I will let it a single stage separator. Here you can add more information, company, field name, any other, and you can use date for today. I will name it as okay. Now we can see here the window is changed because I select a different type. So here on the black oil input, we need to input the basic data, gas oil ratio, and oil gravity, and gas gravity, and uh, salinity, and H2S, these the impurities uh, as a percentage. Uh, it will affect in our reservoir properties. After I select the method uh, that I want to work with, so I you need to enter the data. You can select here black oil input. Or you can use this button yes it's the same uh, but before uh, enter the data please uh, you have to check the units uh, that you have and by the way I will use the case this is my data I need to enter here you must check your data first uh, for the pressure and uh, all gas or ratio and if you need to use the viscosity uh, because if you don't uh, do that uh, that uh, will uh, destroy your model so from here first I need to check the pressure I will change it to PSIA and in input and an in output because if uh, you edit that after and en enter the data that uh, will make uh, the wrong data the software will convert that automatically so check that before and then click on save Okay, and now you can enter the data. As I mentioned here in black oil, we have many correlations. For example, uh, in glacio, standing, duster, viscous, and bags, and petroskite. These uh, are five common correlations. Use it. In this software, uh, for uh, for example, glass, you will, will calculate the bubble point pressure and gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor with the same model as a glass. You and here, an oil viscosity is different uh, model, uh, Bell and Bags and Better Sky. So, uh, here you need to enter the input parameter, the basic data you have to uh, calculate it again with uh, this correlation. So uh, first one, uh, uh, produced gas oil ratio. The number of uh, gas oil ratio here in our data. We can see the gas oil ratio is uh, constant above bubble point. So uh, I need to use this value about for 490 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. And the oil gravity is data must be uh, available in the main BVT 34.9 and the gas gravity is 0.95 and water salinity Two hundred thousand 
or the million and uh, we have and we don't have any impurities here h2s and co2 and nitrogen if you have uh, this data you must enter it uh, to be used in the correlation for uh, the bubble point pressure and rs i and uh, in, in oil formation volume factor i will use now the glass U, and uh, then we can uh, adjust the correlation and we will see the data. But the most important data you have to enter it before start any process, the main data. And if you enter the wrong data here, uh, that will make uh, your model, it's, uh, uh, that mean your model will be completely wrong and you will not get a good result. Uh, and, uh, and that will appear in matching between the lab data and the correlation. Then click OK. Uh, the data is uh, recorded here and in the next step after uh, black oil uh, input you can use match data here in uh, match data uh, maybe you can use it yeah sorry from after enter this one and uh, you can use this button Here you need to enter the data for a DLE test. First, you need to enter the table temperature, the formation temperature of the reservoir. It's about, you can see here in the lab, the temperature must be constant at uh, the test 238 in Fahrenheit. And for saturation pressure, uh, this is the unit must be uh, edited and uh, must be the same as in the lab data. The bubble point pressure, it's here, bubble point pressure, it's 2,535 psi A. And here you need to enter the pressure and uh, the gas oil ratio and the oil formation volume factor and oil viscosity. These are the main fluid properties. These data must be entered to uh, match it later with uh, the correlation. So here in my Excel sheets, in DLE, we can see the pressure and oil formation volume factor and gas oil ratio. We can see the pressure uh, when the drop, uh, the oil formation volume factor increase and when we reach to the bubble point pressure, then will be decreased. And for the, also the gas oil ratio, but I need here the oil viscosity to enter all of these uh, data together. Uh, but here in viscosity, when always when you, when you have a BVT lab, you can see the DLE test, the pressure and the oil formation volume factor and gas oil ratio and the density. And uh, uh, the viscosity is not included in DLE. It's, uh, it's a different test. So uh, it have used different value of the pressure. Uh, and uh, that's uh, very important. Uh, must be uh, focused on this point. You have to enter the pressure uh, with the same values. And uh, you can see here, we will copy this data for DLE here. You can see the pressure numbers is different from uh, uh, differential vaporization DLE and in viscosity test. Uh, so you cannot uh, copy these numbers uh, with these uh, pressure data. You have to adjust your viscosity uh, data uh, to be uh, matched with this pressure then uh, you can enter it, uh, all the data in BVTB. So I will do that before I copy that, before I copy this data to BVTB. 
I will create a plot. See my data here. And uh, uh, that's very important. Yes. This is the viscosity. Uh, the first one, it's uh, no problem with that, it's the same. So I will create Santi boys. The first one is the same. So I can use it here. And the second one, this is the initial reservoir pressure. But the third point uh, in the DLE is different from uh, this test. So I cannot use this number here. I need to adjust, depends on the BVT and DLE pressure. So how can I apply that? Um, I must be used uh, the, this chart, but uh, I know uh, the viscosity at the initial pressure and uh, when the reservoir is above bubble point, the viscosity is decreased and when we reach to the bubble point pressure and uh, the pressure decreases, the viscosity is uh, more increased. I need to uh, select the number here. I need to see this is my bubble point pressure here. I need to check that. But uh, here is my problem with these numbers. So I need to plot just only these numbers here and create a new one. Maybe you can. Why I uh, do that, not include uh, the, the data below bubble point? Because we can see here the curve is different, so I need to use the straight line method so if you uh, don't uh, so if you include all of these data the, the match and the equation cannot help you to find the best numbers of viscosity so uh, you have to separate the points above proper point pressure and uh, then the next to find these numbers you can use the data below bubble point so here i will kill uh, the trend line uh, simply it's uh, linear and I will show the equation yes this equation uh, can help me to find the pressure data by using this equation no big difference here between uh, the trend line and uh, the, the observed data so it depends on the pressure here I can use this equation in y this is the viscosity I needed here, and in X, I will use the pressure point here. So I can click OK, equal. Uh, to adjust more and more about this equation to be very uh, accurate by using scientific. Yes, I can uh, increase the command here, 3. This will give me uh, an accurate number. So, multiply by the pressure point. I can see here no big difference between uh, these two numbers but uh, when we have uh, a different range of a pressure that will give us a different value of viscosity and I can use all of these numbers for example I can see here in this point of pressure it's a difference it's different between uh, because the pressure uh, 
a big difference between these numbers. Okay, now I uh, I got all, all numbers here above bubble point, and I will do that and below. And here I cannot use the straight line because uh, we can see here I will use a polynomial uh, by using uh, order 2 I will increase it to just more and more the scale yes and I will show now the equation to use it to find all the points of the partial Minus two Okay, uh, now I find all the viscosity numbers uh, depends on the pressure on the DLE test. So that's uh, the very important before entering any data to BVTB. I will delete all of this and this is now my data here and to copy that uh, and to copy all of these data I will see here. Uh, first, the pressure and the gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor and oil viscous. So, uh, uh, my data must be arranged like this. And I need to include. Uh, now, everything is uh, cool. I will copy all of these numbers yes. now I can see a plot here uh, yes I, I need to go save that before now I can see the plot Variables must be the pressure because the pressure is uh, constant here. If you can see the number is the same, but I will change to the pressure versus oil formation for factor. Uh, this is uh, in x axis is the pressure, and in y axis is oil formation for factor. I can see here uh, the points and uh, the line to be more clear uh, I need to adjust the y-axis by scales and uh, here from 1 to 2 yes I can see the oil formation volume factor uh, this is the line means the correlation I use it I use the I use here, I select here first uh, in my data, if you remember, I use the glacio and uh, this point is uh, represent to our uh, lab data for the oil formation factor. We can see here we cannot find any uh, match between our lab and the correlation. Uh, I need to adjust that more, but uh, I need to see first the gas oil ratio also. Uh, the gas or ratio is um, the measured gas or ratio matched with the correlation above bubble point, but 
below bubble point it difference and also I can see the oil viscosity uh, two curves here uh, oil gas oil ratio and viscosity no match also between uh, the lab and the correlation so that mean uh, you have to uh, work with and uh, improve your match and that's uh, the next step you have to match uh, between uh, the observed data and the correlation so finish this step and click OK and uh, now we need to develop our model and improve our correlation by click on regress here we can find the main window of uh, matching match on uh, if you need to use all the data here you can check and uh, match all the data bubble point and gas or ratio and oil formation volume factor and the oil viscosity and uh, that's uh, the and uh, after apply the match you can see uh, here in the standard deviation for parameter 1 and parameter 2 after running the empirical correlation the numbers here must be uh, close to 1 and in parameter 2 must be close to 0 uh, that's the methodology of uh, PVTP software and here the correlation you need to select we can see here in the first step we use it Uh, automatically glass you and that uh, we cannot find any match maybe you can select standing here and for oil viscosity it have different correlations so maybe you can select bags to see the match between the lab data and the bags correlation uh, you can use uh, for example now I can uh, I need to match the bubble point just only the bubble point pressure uh, we can use the bubble point pressure by standing correlation and click on match yes the process is done and data match it we can see the parameter by using just only standard correlation the parameter 1 is 1.15 and parameter 2 is uh, too high and uh, if you need to use uh, for example gas or ratio also by using the standard correlation click on match here in parameter 1 it's uh, 0.56 it's uh, it's uh, far away from uh, 1 it's 0.56 it must be uh, to have a good match it must be close to 1 but I need to see the gas or ratio and uh, bubble points pressure I will click on plot Uh, yes, this is the result of uh, standing correlation. Uh, still uh, missing these uh, points below bubble point. And uh, if you work with uh, just only by using this, uh, selecting your correlation one by one, and uh, that's uh, very difficult to find the best correlation for you, because everyone have different uh, equation and can calculate the properties now I need to see for last term, for example yes I cannot find here uh, it's very very difficult to find that but here the advantage in uh, BVTB you can uh, use match all after click on the match all you can calculate all the data and using all the correlation here for example now we select automatically after click on match all the bubble and bubble point and gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor also the oil viscosity all of these uh, properties calculated by all the uh, correlations here in uh, cluster and glass and standing and uh, now we will see the data by using parameters here and uh, for example in bubble point pressure we can see in the parameter one this is 1.1 
and uh, for standing 1.15 and in luster 1.32 and viscous 1.04 i think here for the best correlation used by viscous because it's more close to one more than uh, standing and more than glacio and also more than petrusca that's uh, for bubble point pressure but it must be uh, with the same with the gas oil ratio the same correlation because the bubble point and gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor selected with the same correlation we can see here uh, in glacio for gas oil ratio it's 0 0.65 and standing 0.56 glacio uh, matched more than standing and more than luster and but here viscous is uh, 0 0.69 matched more than glacio so the viscous it's uh, and more than better sky so here in bubble point and uh, gas oil ratio uh, viscous specs is a better correlation matched with our data and we can see in the oil formation volume factor 0 0.83 0 0.836 and 0 0.84 in luster and we can see here the viscous it's 1.02 and uh, here in better sky it's uh, too high So from uh, this analysis, I can decide here the viscous bags. It's best. It's the best correlation uh, used here, and we can see here in and that's uh, for these uh, properties. And for oil viscosity, I can see here in uh, Bell 2.9 and in bags 1.6 and Petrosky. 1.7 the minimum and uh, the, the the best correlation here i think it's uh, bags it's less than bill and better sky but it's uh, still have high uncertainty because it's uh, 1.6 it's uh, the data uh, is not matched with all points and uh, we will see that but uh, now i can decide for correlation for bubble point and rs and oil formation volume factor the viscous and bags and here i will select bags also now you can click on the plot and we can see the gas or ratio is matched more by using we can Yes, I can uh, see in uh, viscous and bags it's matched our data with gas or ratio. If you remember here uh, when I used the glacio, it's uh, missing the matching in the last and below bubble point. When we select oil formation volume factor, the data is change the scale here. Yes, we can see here the match all the data and to see more point, point. Yes, I think all the data match it by using viscous and bags. And uh, for oil viscosity. Yes, I missed some data here because I see in uh, analysis uh, uh, 1.6 and it's uh, equal to 1 here. Yes, I miss some data. I'm missing some. Uh, I miss uh, the match here in this point, and uh, that's because uh, the parameter one. Uh, it's uh, we can see the oil viscosity with the uh, bags 1.69. It's the high standard deviation between our data and the correlation. 
but uh, it's the best uh, more uh, but it's uh, but when i compare that with bill and better sky it uh, will be the best so i will select this model for uh, oil viscosity and click ok now i uh, decide what's the best correlation for our data here and now we can go to the next step uh, make a calculation after enter the data and match the data and the regress you can calculate uh, here automatically it depends on the pressure and the data you need to enter here in data points if you need for example to select this option you have to enter the temperature of the reservoir and uh, here the temperature of the reservoir must be constant uh, because when you have some wells and you need to uh, use the PVT uh, correlations for every well uh, the temperature must be constant and the pressure will be changed depending on the data you have and uh, what's the data you need to show uh, versus the gas oil ratio or oil, oil, oil formation value factor or oil viscosity and uh, if you need to select the auto automatic here that's uh, you have to select the range of a pressure and uh, select the steps automatically the BVTB software can generate these numbers and calculate the other properties but the temperature here must be constant uh, it's the same in the reservoir pressure the same as the reservoir temperature uh, from uh, from or to it will be the same and the value is one but the pressure here i can select the range from uh, the minimum one for example i will use 500 for example or uh, 15 to the max uh, the maximum number it's to it's 5000 bsia and the steps I can use, for example, get it as a 10. This will give us uh, the 10 points of the pressure data. And here you can, uh, after select the best correlation uh, and to estimate all the properties, you must select the best correlation you uh, got in the last uh, step. If you use the glass you here and uh, now by this I will copy that to Excel sheet and we will compare that between uh, the lab data and the correlation and uh, must be uh, know the best correlation for you and I know the best correlation is viscous and tax so I selected here to use it by the correlation here uh, the match uh, use match data for calculations uh, that's very important you have to check this before uh, make a calculation to select the best correlation you, uh, you use it here and uh, all the points all the calculation depends on this matching then click calculate here the temperature is uh, constant and the pressure numbers is after I select 10, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I need to calculate the bubble point pressure and gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor and viscosity and oil density. It depends on this uh, correlation I selected, viscous and beds. So I will click on calculate. Uh, yes now I can uh, uh, yes now I can see my result here the bubble point pressure it's uh, I think matched with uh, the data I have in the lab and uh, in gas oil ratio these and the oil formation volume factor and oil viscosity and also uh, here the oil density I don't enter any value of oil density but it's calculated depends on the correlation uh, I use it Uh, now I can uh, copy all of this data to my Excel sheet.
here the oil density and you can uh, plot the pressure data with gas oil ratio for example this is the data we get from the PVT and I will add the next calculated value versus I will compare that with the lab data the pressure on x-axis and in y the gas over ratio Uh, now I can see uh, the gas or ratio compared uh, the lab compared with calculated by using PVTB. When I see uh, these numbers, uh, I can see the match is uh, done here in the above bubble point by, I think at uh, bubble point pressure, I miss, uh, or I think I don't have here in the bubble point pressure, but actually uh, the match is done here at this step, but just only in the last points here, in, uh, in for example, in here in the last number at 15, I can see gas or ratio it's uh, zero in lab, but in uh, zero in lab, but in uh, after using the calculate uh, the empirical correlation, because it give us the gas or ratio uh, more gas uh, uh, dissolved in oil at standard condition, but no big difference between uh, these two curves. And uh, maybe uh, you can see the difference between in, uh, as a average absolute error after apply the change the pressure of these points to be the same and uh, you can use uh, the Excel sheet can help you to find the absolute average error between these two curves. It's uh, I think it's very very small and that's for gas oil ratio. Also I can see that for oil formation volume factor. That's calculated by viscous and now we will add by using lab data Yes, I can see here uh, more Yes, uh, the same at the end of this uh, uh, when the pressure is dropped at, uh, at the surface it has some uh, different between in gas or ratio and oil formation volume factor and that's uh, not big uh, different between these two numbers but above bubble point it's matched and uh, below the bubble point it's more points uh, more points matched uh, uh, together and that's very very good and uh, the advantage of using and the advantage of using uh, PVTB that can help you to uh, uh, use uh, this correlations uh, when we when you need to run uh, dynamic reservoir simulation for example you can depend on the best correlation uh, you get 
from compared with this data. For example, if you need to uh, run a dynamic correlation, uh, you can select uh, the bubble point pressure and gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor and oil viscosity. And uh, also, if you don't have uh, density, for example, in your lab and you need it, you can depend on the correlation bec because it's uh, uh, very good with gas oil ratio and oil formation volume factor and oil viscosity. So uh, as well as will be uh, very good with oil density also. And uh, that's uh, about uh, the BVT B. Now I reach to the end of this lecture. I hope uh, this lecture can help you so much to learn more about BVTB and how can uh, work with empirical correlations to match your lab data with a correlation and select the best one. If you need to use uh, these data, I use it here in this lecture. You can contact with our email uh, to get uh, this data and uh, and uh, use it to practice and uh, finally i need to remember you the knowledge uh, only is not enough you must practice that and you must see how the effect of change the parameters and uh, uh, how can have a sense about these numbers and how can the software works with uh, these correlations in this lecture i don't talk more about uh, the correlations uh, for example uh, bill for viscosity or bags and that's uh, available in uh, every textbox in uh, reservoir engineering you can uh, uh, read more about that and uh, then go to uh, practice that and see the effect of uh, and how it works with the software thank you so much and see you soon